conference is is an amazing experience. Um, we had a few setbacks, you know, like like everything, like every competition, but uh, we pulled through as a team. And we really gave it our all, swam with, swam with a lot of heart, and uh, it was really exciting to to win for a second time. Um, on the women's side, we were definitely a lot smaller than a lot of the teams out there this year, so that was a challenge for us, but all the girls, we really stepped up and gave it their all, and there was a lot of best times. We got three girls with um, NCAA B cuts, and there was a lot of records broken, so I think the girls really showed what we're made of and hopefully continue to build in the next few years and come back to that championship team we used to be. Yeah, it's really interesting because a lot of people think that swimming and diving don't go together, but we're super close as a team. Uh, we cheer each other on. The, the divers are at the end of the lanes for the swim swimmers, and then um, the swimmers will cheer the divers on. It was really uh, a really fun meet, and um, me and my sister broke the highest score ever for diving on the three meter board, which is really exciting just to be up there with her. Um, Matt Mirrors also got a regional cut, so we'll all be competing um, not this weekend, but next weekend. It's just a really exciting to, time to be as a team and together. So, uh, I also thought Midwest Conference was an exciting meet. Uh, it's definitely worth the five months of training, mm -hmm. the hard training all season. And then once we get there, everyone's dropping best times. And it was also fun to end the swim career on a back-to-back -back victory. Uh, my fondest memory of the team is definitely be California. I mean, it's not the easiest week of the season, but it's definitely the most memorable. That's where we really bond and get to know each other on the swim team. I really like California too, but my fondest memory was winning the Midwest Conference Championship with my team freshman year. Definitely something I think the girls can do again. Um, it's just an exciting time to be with your team. Uh, it's nothing like anyone's ever experienced before, so that was really awesome to do. Um, I have a ton of favorite memories here, but one that really sticks out to me was the 2013 um, 800 free relay. Being a part of that team to come back and win, um, Becky Shock anchored that relay, and it was m the most amazing feeling ever. So. Um, when I think back to my career here, it's it's got to be the, the winning the two conference titles. Um, those are just really high moments with my team and everyone's bonding coming together and, and we're all broken down and swimming as hard as we can and it's just something I always look back on and be proud of. What uh, what I want people to know about swimming is that it's, it's a hard sport. A lot of people don't know that it's um, hard when you get in the water. People think it's just easy to just swim back and forth 25 yards but when they try it out it actually is fairly hard. <laughs> um, I think what I want people to know about uh, the swim and dive team the most is I think that no one really gets to see what we do. Um, no one's in the sports center at our first practice of the morning. No one gets to see us be here at 5.30, either in the weight room or in the pool. And we're the last ones to leave the sports center every night. And no one gets to walk by and watch us practice. So we'd like people to come out and see what we do. When we got back on campus, um, Jackie sent the email, Jackie Slot sent the email out um, on Monday, and so I think that gave people a big heads up, but I mean, people had already found out on social media that we had, that we had won conference and that the, the women had got second place and that people were swimming really well. Um, and people have been reaching out and saying congrats to me on campus, walking around, and even professors and students alike, so it's been really, uh, really nice and to hear that from people. Yeah, um, both before and after the meet, I got a lot of texts from current students, alumni, about um, the whole meet and what we did. Um, actually, in one of my classes, I, we got a round of applause, me and my sister were in the class, so that was really exciting. Um, Professor Wesley's class, and she was from Grinnell, so that was nice. Um, and just like walking around, a lot of people found out about me and my sister, both breaking that record, and uh, they both con or they congratulated both of us, and it was just nice to see that kind of spirit all around campus. So. Uh, the nice part of being on a small campus is everyone's friends with everyone, everyone knows everyone, so we're able, it's easy for everyone to cheer each other on, 
between the sports. Um, just that small time feel is great. Definitely being on a small campus and having such an interconnected campus where um, students are engaged in the athletics is really nice. Um, also hearing from your professors, I mean, you see professors in the stands at games and um, in the classroom they always comment to you or cheer you on or ask how the next competition is going to go. So I really have enjoyed the past four years getting to know my professors and students um, through athletics as well. My biggest piece of advice for the team next year is to just remember why you started the sport and why you came in here loving it. Um, just remember every day that if you work hard with each other, it'll all pay off in the end. And the boys knew that this year with their win. And I think um, the girls are definitely at a good starting point. So if they continue to work hard and remember why they love the sport, uh, they'll do great things too. Yeah, like she said, remember why you love the sport. Um, it's not an easy sport. And it's definitely not easy at Lake Forest College. Um, coaching staff is going to push you every day, and so are your fellow teammates. Um, don't get too strung up on the victories. Don't get too down on the on the defeats. Um, and to the men, if we didn't have a cross on our back this year, we're definitely going to next year. Um, my advice to the team next year would be to work hard every day and know that it's going to pay off in the end. And just appreciate every day you get in the pool because um, as the four of us sitting here in front of you can tell you, it goes way faster than you're going to think. Is to cherish the five months of swimming each season consists of because uh, all that hard work definitely pays off at the end.